Hello. Hello. Uh, this is Adam Smith calling from NobelPrize.org, the website of the Nobel Prize in Stockholm. Is this Professor Allison? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Sorry, you guys had so much trouble with me. Many, many congratulations on the award of the Nobel Prize. Oh, oh well, thank you. Thank you so much. It's, it's a matter of my it's a dream of a lifetime. I don't know what to say. I understand. How did the news actually reach you? Uh, some some reporter called right at five thirty or so, some from Sweden, Sweden, and then my son called. Saw it on TV. <laughs> Your son must be pretty happy too. Yep, it's, it's amazing. I, I'm still in shock. I don't know, I don't know what to say. It's the first prize um, awarded specifically for a cancer therapy for many years, and that's a nice, hopeful thing for everybody that it's something to reward. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Really helpful. Continuing to work to try to get you know as they work better in patients. You know. hmm. I mean, you you didn't actually set out to find a cure for cancer. This was a this was basic research. No, no. I was trying. I was trying to understand how T cells work. I mean, in fact, figured out this one thing about the you know this negative regulator. I had this idea that if we just took that off, you know, maybe it would do a better job of you know killing cancer cells. And sure enough, it works. Hmm. Yet again, an example of not knowing which way research is going to take you. Yep. You know, I always consider myself a basic scientist, but not, not anymore, I suppose. <laughs> I have to say, you do sound um, excited. It's nice. Well, speechless. It's kind of sinking in. Yeah, yeah. A bunch of friends found out and came to the, to the hotel room. I'm at an immunotherapy conference in New York City. So, so people are joining you in your hotel room? I mean, yes, yes. You're assembling a party around you. Yeah, some people heard about it and showing up. And spontaneous celebration going on, a little champagne. That's, that sounds pretty good. And, and I have to mention that I've actually heard you playing the harmonica at the immunotherapy conference before. Oh, really? With the checkpoints, yeah. I, I do hope you plan to bring your harmonica to Stockholm when you come in December. I'll bring it. I don't know if I'll play, but I'll bring it. I was wondering whether I was brave enough to ask you to play on the telephone now, but <laughs> oh, I don't have one with me now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think you should play. You're good at it, <laughs> if I remember right. Yeah, well, thank you. It's a pleasure to speak to you, and we greatly look forward to welcoming you to Stockholm when you come. Okay, well, thank, thank, thank you so much. Congratulations okay. again. Thanks. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.